If you have a smoker and you make only one thing, it needs to be these beef dino ribs. Bringing back the voiceover for this one because I just have to tell you how incredible it was. And this is actually my first time using this new master built smoker. And it's got this cool little wood chip tray so you can load in more without opening the door and letting out all the smoke. And now let's turn to the seasoning. I'm keeping it pretty simple with an even mix of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. For the meat, you want to get yourself some beef back ribs or beef plate ribs. No short ribs today. These are going to be a little bit more expensive, but trust me when I tell you that they are absolutely worth it. I'm prepping this very similar to how I do a brisket, with mustard as the binder and our seasoning on top. At this point, our smoker's at 275 degrees, and we've got some nice smoke going. So we'll go ahead and add the ribs, and then add in a probe so we can monitor the temperature. This is after around 5 hours. I opened it up and gave them a little bit of a spritz with some apple cider vinegar. And here's what they look like after over 11 hours, when they finally hit an internal of 203 degrees. You can see how easy the probe goes in and out right here. And if that wasn't already long enough, we're going to wrap this thing in butcher paper and let it rest for another hour. But good things come to those who wait, because I can honestly say that I don't think I've ever made anything so mouth-wateringly delicious before in my life. All the fat inside these ribs has rendered down and made the meat extremely moist. Seriously, if you just look at these the right way, they'll fall apart. Now it's time to separate the ribs and get yourself a big juicy bite. Let's feast!